Okay, in today's video, I'm going to take a look at advertising on YouTube, how you actually advertise on YouTube. Now, you might be thinking, why bother advertising on YouTube, or is it effective, is it useful, and so forth. YouTube advertising is very, very effective and very, very cheap. And I'm going to show you now exactly why you should be advertising on YouTube. And if you're not doing it, you're missing out big time, particularly if you have a small business. Uh, and you're looking to develop. Now, if you look here, firstly, we're looking at stats for the last seven days. These, this is five campaigns or six campaigns or whatever that I'm running. You'll see for the last seven days, we're just gonna take a look at 21st of 27th of November, 2018. Today now for is the 28th of November. So we're looking at the last seven days and the figures that I want you to have a look at and ensure that you focus on are firstly, the figures for views. So over the last seven days, I've had 6,137 views across these four or five campaigns that I'm running. You'll see the cost of that is 58 euros and 10 cents. So if we do a simple calculation, 58.10 divided by 6137, you'll see that I'm getting a view for 0 0.009 of a cent in other words less than one cent so there's the figure there 6137 views 53 euros is costing me that is absolutely phenomenal value because if i was to go to a local hotel or go take a hotel in dublin or a function room and try and get speaking with 6000 people how much would it cost me? How much would it cost me to rent a hotel? How many days or how many nights would I have to do it? That's assuming that I could actually manage to do that and actually manage to get myself in front of 6,000 people. I don't think it's actually possible without a massive advertising campaign. And yet, quietly, week in, week out, I'm getting 6,000 views over a period of seven days for around about 50 to 55 euros that's a cent a view or less than one cent a view so that's why you should advertise on youtube in my view now um firstly you need to understand as well the type of people that are on youtube and what youtube is youtube firstly is the second largest search engine on the planet and it's owned by the owners of the biggest search engine on the planet google so Google has the first and second largest search engines on the planet and YouTube is the second. Now that means that when people go and search for stuff, when they go and search for solutions, when they go and search for answers to questions, they look either on Google search and secondly, they look on YouTube. That's why you should advertise on YouTube and that's why you should have a YouTube channel and why you should make videos. And especially nowadays with the phone being as easy to use and as ubiquitous as it is and as powerful and as uh, you know gives great quality videos so the type of people on youtube they're looking for answers because it's a search engine and as i say it's the second largest search engine the other thing that you need to consider is if you compare youtube directly with facebook youtube will only count a view so i'm saying there i've got 6137 views but on YouTube, a view is only counted if somebody comes across my video and watches 30 seconds. If they watch 28 seconds or 25 seconds, it doesn't count as a view if they click away. So just to put it in context, you're gonna watch a video, you're gonna watch whatever you wanna watch, you know, uh, your own particular hobby, your own interest, your own passion, and a video comes on before that, my video, you'll know that there's a skip ad a button on the right and that comes on after five seconds and you can skip the ad at any point up to 30 seconds if you skip the ad that's fine you win and i win because a i don't get to pay i don't have to pay and b you don't have to watch the video however if you're interested in it then obviously you're going to watch and if you're interested you stay for longer than 30 seconds and i pay a cent that's a great uh, deal it's great value it's a win-win so that's why you need to be clear in relation to Facebook then, if Facebook puts a video into your Facebook feed and you're scrolling down, once you scroll past that video, even if it's only for half a second or a second, Facebook count that as a video view. Now let's face it, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? You're scrolling down through your feed, there's a video in your way, and yet they count it as a view. So what's counted as a view on YouTube or what's counted on a view or what's counted as a view on 
Facebook are two completely different things. And the great thing about YouTube is that when you put a video in front of somebody, if they're not interested, they can skip the ad and you don't pay. Okay, and not only that, but we'll show when I set up the campaign now, we'll, we'll uh, see exactly how you can actually frequency cap or cap the frequency with which your ads show up because so that you're not going to really annoy people. Okay, so firstly, as I say, Google owns YouTube, so therefore, in order to advertise on YouTube, you need a Google Ads account. So you need to open up a Google Ads account. This is my Google Ads account, and I'm not going to go through too much detail here, but I will show you how to set up an advertising campaign for YouTube. So I click on this button here, which allows me to start a new campaign, to create a new campaign rather. So we're going to create a new campaign and it's going to be, um, let me see now. I'm going to create, a, there's a number, as you can see, there's different goals there and uh, different outcomes that you're looking for. So there's brand awareness and reach and create a campaign without a, a goal, uh, goals guide and guidance and there's leads, it's website traffic. I think I'm going to do one for the brand awareness and reach because I found that that actually gets me great, actually that's a display and I don't want display. I'm going to create a campaign without a, a, any, um, without any goal. And it's going to be a video campaign. And it's going to be a standard video campaign. So we'll just click through the options here and we're going to continue. And I'm just going to go through the various options that you choose in order to set up your campaign properly and give yourself the best chance of success and the best chance of getting views at a cent. Even if you make a complete hames of it and you're paying two cents for a view or three cents for a view of your video, it's still great value. But uh, you do need obviously to create a video. It's not a big job, but obviously it's a huge stumbling block for a lot of people, a lot of businesses. So um, this thing is loading up here now. It's a little bit slow today for some reason. And we're starting a new campaign. So we're gonna call the campaign. Um, now this particular campaign of mine is, I'm just gonna call it Wills. Uh, and I'm gonna call it Wills number two. I'm gonna change the change the name of it later on, but just for the sake of being able to identify. So my budget then is going to be daily and all I'm going to do is spend one euro a day, one euro a day. You won't get a price of, you won't get uh, a cup of coffee for a euro a day, but you can get a hundred views of your video on YouTube. I'm only going to spend a euro because there's five or six campaigns running and I'm spending five or six euros a day. I'm spending 50 to 60 euros a week and to be honest with you, it's great value. Now, start date, start date um, as soon as possible. That's fine. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go as soon as possible. We're just going to leave the default. Then here in relation to networks, I'm going to go for YouTube search results, YouTube videos. I'm not going to go with video partners. I'm not going to explain exactly why, but basically I suspect that a lot of the sites that are in that video partners uh, or the display network are not really appropriate or suitable for my audience. Uh, and the reason for that is this would include the likes of apps and I think gaming sites and stuff like that. So I just don't bother with that. I go for these two options here, YouTube search results and YouTube videos. Languages then, obviously I want English because all of my videos are in English. Although some people might uh, debate that with me. Now, location, this is key, but obviously I'm going for Ireland country. It's a Wills uh, ad. Wait now, this particular ad, I don't want to, I don't want to do all of Ireland. I only want to do a few counties actually. In fact, I only want to do about 50 miles from my office. So I'm going to do, Enfield. So I'm going to do County Mead. I'm going to do Dublin. I do Dublin City just in case it doesn't include. Uh, no, I think I've got Dublin City there. I'm going to do Kildare. And I'm going to do Westmead. So you can see here my 
advertising campaign here mm. is to do with wills. And what I'm looking to do is to get people in to make a will with me. The likelihood is that the people that are going to be interested are going to be relatively close to my office. So within, a, say, a 50 mile radius. So I'm going to use just, I'm just going to target four locations. That means my videos are only going to be shown to people in some of these four locations. And uh, you can see there I've picked these four counties. I'm going to put in a maximum cost per, yeah, a maximum cost per view. And I'm just going to leave that the standard inventory. I'm not going to bother with any changes here whatsoever. So content exclusions, I'm just going to leave it up to YouTube to show it to people in these four areas. And then I'm going to call this just group one, just for the sake of this. The demographics then, I'm not going to bother going through the demographics, but the likelihood is that I'm probably going to get more mileage out of people who would be a little bit older. So people in, say, 18 to 25 bracket are probably not going to be that interested in making will. Having said that, I'm getting views so cheap, I really don't care. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, any audience, I'm not going to bother going in or changing that. I can change different audiences, though. I can go for, based on detailed demographics, I can go based on what their interests and habits are, lifestyle situations, uh, kids being born, and so on and so forth. Google actually has the data on an awful lot of viewers, and we can target specifically, but I'm not going to bother for the sake of this, and I normally don't. I actually don't bother with the keywords either because I'm getting... So the maximum cost per, vi per view then, I'm going to do a maximum of two cents per view. That's the maximum I'm prepared to pay for a view. But to be honest with you, I won't even need to, to pay that because uh, I know I'll be getting them for... I know I'll be getting them for a cent. Now, I, I need to put in my video then. So I have a huge number of videos on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. This particular video, just for the sake of this video and to show you how to do it, I'm going to look for a video of mine called 10 Things You Should Put In Your Will. Ten things you should put in your will. Oh, Jesus, where it is? Where is it? Maybe it's called... Uh, yeah, ten things you should have in your will. I had the wrong name. And it's going to be an in-stream ad. Now, an in-stream ad is the one that comes on before the video that you might be watching. So say you're watching a video on makeup or say you're watching a video on fishing or say you're watching a hurling match or football match or highlights of Gooch Cooper or something on it. A video might come on before that. That's the one where you can skip the ad. That's fine. This is the type I'm going for. So I'm going for an in-stream ad. It comes on before somebody else's video. And as I say, if the viewer doesn't want to watch it, has no interest in the will, they're just going to skip the ad. I don't pay. They can watch Gooch Cooper scoring goals and everybody's happy. So we're going to go for in-stream. Now I'm just going to send them back to my website. So my website is and what's going to be displayed on the ad is that and I'm just going to name my ad uh, 10 things you should have in your will. So I've started a campaign called Wills number two. So the campaign name is Will is number two. The ad group is called group one, just for the sake of this. I'll change it probably later on. And then the particular video is this one here, 10 things you should have in your will. So, and you can check here just to see what it's gonna look like on a desktop or a mobile. So this is the in-stream ad, and I'm gonna save that and continue. So your campaign is ready. It'll take a little while for the ad to be approved, probably an hour or so, and that's it. I'll be off to the races then, and it'll be showing my video to the uh, people in the four counties that I've identified. So just to be specific, uh, and, and folks, just the ad there, it's under review, that's fine. And then as it goes live, I'm gonna have data, I'm gonna get number of impressions, uh, number of views, cost per view, etc. I know, to be honest with you, that I'll be paying one cent per view to show this ad when it's up and running and it'll be like the other campaigns that I have where you can see there the average cost per view is one cent 
that one is two cent but that's exceptional because it's a slightly different campaign but overall for the whole week um yeah for the last seven days as you can see the average cost per view is one cent i've got six thousand one hundred and thirty seven views that campaign will be up and running now that campaign i'm going to put more videos into it so i have a number of videos that i'm going to put into that group they're all to do there's about four of them to do with making a will 10 things you should have in your will uh, what happens if you don't make a will how to extract a grant of probate and so on but the bottom line is if people don't like the ad they can they can uh, just simply skip the ad so there's one thing i actually forgot and i want to just show you this is important and this is in the settings so when i go back to settings for this particular campaign so all campaigns i go to wills too i go to settings and i want a frequency cap so if you go down here to additional settings i want a frequency cap i forgot to do that that means that i'm going to limit how many times my ad can show to the same user so i'm only going to show my ad to the same user twice in a day so i don't want people getting uh, peed off or uh, you know hugely fatigued with looking at me or anything else so i'm going to put in that and i'm going to put in two here as well so number of views of the ad per day only two so a person is not going to say jesus i'm seeing that ad i'm absolutely sick of it they're only going to see it twice a day because i've capped the frequency i'm going to save that that's what i do for all my campaigns that's not to say that you won't have seen a lot of videos of mine that have a huge number of videos out there quite frankly but i do frequency cap or cap the frequency of two views uh, per ad per day i hope you find this video useful if you do give it a thumbs up down below i'd strongly recommend though if you have a small business or if you want to persuade anybody to do anything you could be a charity you could be you know some other um in, engaged in some other activity or endeavor involving trying to persuade people to do something the best thing to do in my view is to make little videos make videos with your uh, iphone or your your um, smartphone put them up on youtube and actually serve somebody be useful be of utility and if somebody leaves a comment and says jesus that's a useful uh, video thanks then obviously you know you're going to get a subscriber and you are delivering value in advance if you deliver value in advance it's far far easier later on when that person needs a solicitor or a physiotherapist or a psychiatrist or a doctor or a, a painter or a decorator or a dentist or whatever then they're going to like know and trust you because you've actually provided value in advance you've actually been of use you have been useful to them hope you find this useful if you do give it a thumbs up down below and um, you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel i know this video is long but i hope as i say it's useful this is just a follow on ad to the ad I made this morning. The ad I made this morning was how to set up the YouTube campaign. And in this very, very short video, it's just a follow on, but I'm just gonna show you the results. The ad I made this morning, I made around half six or seven o'clock. It's lunchtime now, it's actually 10 to two, but you'll see the results. So you remember we set up a campaign this morning and it was called Wills 2. And you'll see there so far today, it's had 76 impressions. So it's been shown 76 times to people. I've had 39 views. I've had a 50% 51% interaction rate. In other words, over 50% of the people who saw the ad decided to watch over 30 seconds. I've paid an average cost of a cent. I've paid 32 cents. So I've paid 32 cents for 39 views. Put that in context. Out of 100 people, if I get one person out of 100 people to come in and make a video or come in and make a will rather, it's... Uh, it's going to cost them probably 100 or 150 quid but to get 100 people to watch my video it's going to cost me a euro so the payback there is good euro for 100 views out of 100 views might get one will but it's 100 quid or 150 quid it's a 10x or 15x return on my money as i say if you find the video useful give it the thumbs up down below thanks